Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 3. Uh, let's uh, get you guys updated on what I spent last night and this morning doing. So I actually uh, got an Ender Pearl from the mob farm there. Uh, there was two Endermen in there, not at the same time, but like one, and then an hour later there was another one. Uh, the first one didn't drop anything, the second one dropped an Ender Pearl. So I went ahead and made the cutting knife here, the glass cutter, I mean. Uh, broke it down, um, got a whole bunch of redstone. I made two of these resonating crystals with one little shard each. Uh, the first one I used to make that resonator right there, and the second one is right here. So the resonator, uh, if you watched my Hermit Pack series, you know we have to use this to make a lot of the base blocks and stuff for extra utilities. Um, the thing I'm going to have to make first is called Stone Burnt, and we have to get polished stone and put it in there and then have grid power to uh, power this thing to turn it from smooth stone into stone burnt. Or stone bricks into stone burnt? Polished stone, that's it. Polished stone to stone burnt. Um, this other one we're going to use to make our power generation for grid power, and I'm going to have to start with the manual mill <clears throat> because... Um, it uses polished stone, which I can actually create, as opposed to stone burnt, and things like nether brick fences. This is all stone burnt here. Uh, that's just polished stone. I could probably make solar panels, now that I'm thinking about it. I do have a ton of lapis I'm not going to use. <clears throat> um, but then it'll only work during half the day, but I can always sleep. And I can always turn some lapis into lunar reactive dust. You know what? Yeah, let's do solar panels. <laughs> I was going to do the manual mill so I could like click on it. But I think that only goes up to one grid power at a time. Unless it's been modified somewhere in the config. Uh, but this makes three solar panels, which will be a total of three grid power. So we get three power passively out of our one redstone crystal, which is going to be our limiting factor. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Alright, so first though, I need to go ahead and make polished stone. These other ones I can drop off in there. I only need two of those. And I need lapis. I've got 60 lapis. Plenty. Alright, like so. Solar panel. Achievement, solar panel. Uh, I got the achievement tech tree start for making the redstone crystal earlier. It just says achievement, see the achievement list for the tech, the tech tree. But that was for making that little redstone crystal. Alright, so now we have grid power producing items, and these can be anywhere. They don't have to be touching this or connected to a battery or any kind of wiring or anything. They can be anywhere. So I'm going to actually put them... Uh, where It's not going to let me put them here. They need to be on top of solid blocks. Let's put them back here. Anything in here? Zombie? Googly-eyed zombie? I expanded this out also. Come on. This hammer kind of sucks as a weapon. Shouldn't be using it for that, but whatever. Uh, expanded this out to be 5 across. It's 5 by 2, so I can actually hit the things that spawn in it without having to uh, like walk inside or anything. And I actually need another axe to get in here easier. I broke my axe earlier. Oh, there's a guy in here. Bad day, bad day, bad day. Oh, I'm gonna die. Dang it. MHF pig. What? Okay. Is he gonna despawn? Do I have to worry about it? He didn't despawn. He's still here. 
Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, let me just get him locked in the recoil animation. Did he pick up my stuff, or is he already holding an item? No, he dropped his own thing. Got revenge, alright. Got everything back, good. Well, that sucked. I'm not using experience for anything right now anyway, so I guess it's not too bad. Let's go put these back. I should probably, like, well, I don't have any dark glass. I was thinking I should put a piece of glass in here, but then light gets into it, and uh, it's not dark glass, so things won't spawn. Anyway, here's our haul from the mob spawning grinder thingy. Uh, like I said, I expanded it out so there's more spawn area, and I also made some drying racks here to make food with. I should probably put up some fences. Anyway, uh, let's put these... Will they go like... I can't put them there. can't put them on slabs. Uh, let's get rid of the death marker. Is this a slab? Yeah. That's half a block. That's a full block, but then I can't respawn there. Alright, so let's do this then. Let's get back here. And go one, two, three like that. One, two, three like that. Alright, so now we should be generating three grid power. And then I can get rid of that. And then I should be able to use my transfer node. Isn't that supposed to work? How is that supposed to work? Am I using the wrong node thing? Is it a retrieval node that I need? Oh, heck no. It should be a transfer node. Pretty sure that's supposed to work. Huh. Well, dang it, that's a waste of time. And resources. I thought I saw Etho do that. Am I using the wrong transfer node? It's not the fluid thing. Is it the retrieval node that does that? Or do I have to put an item filter and then tell it cobblestone? Let's try that. How do I make it the item filter? Maybe I have to actually tell it. Filter fluids, item filter. Four redstone, string, and sticks. Well, I'm out of redstone. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to grind redstone on camera here. So, yeah. I'm going to have to cut the episode short again. And uh, get some more work done. Dang it. Alright, well, if you guys know how this is supposed to work, because it's draining one power. I have three power. Do I have to, like, break one to update it? Or actually, hang on, I think I know what's going on. The cobblestone block wants the lava and the water to be adjacent to it, not the uh, flowing bit. So actually, let's do this. I think I know what's going on. So let's pick up the lava, let the flowing bit run down. Put it there, take the water, and replace it at the bottom next to the block. Uh, now? No. 
Well, that was my other guess. What if I, like, remove this and replace it? No. It's still getting three power. Sun's not down yet. It still says one out of three. Huh, I might have to go back and check the episode for that. <clears throat> to see how he did it. Put these back where they were, so I don't accidentally delete one. Yeah, I don't know. Do I need to, like, seed it with one first? No. Those don't go there. Can't just put an item in it. Well, guess I'm going to go make an item filter. Uh, if you guys know what's going on here, I'll keep an eye on my comments. But I might have it sorted out by the time the episode is uploaded and... Uh... Do I need a connected inventory? Hmm... I don't have any more wood to make stuff out of. I used all my wood. Well, I guess that's something else I get to go do. And I need to make another axe. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff to do. Alright, so... Grid is overloaded. What? Is this thing causing a problem? Overloaded? Hang on a second. Still nothing. Yeah, this thing doesn't actually use grid power. It's just from the mod for grid power, and you can put upgrades in it. Huh. Oh well. Alright, well, uh, until next time, hopefully I'll get this sorted out, and I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.